In today's video, we're gonna talk about slow motion video and specifically how to work with 4K 60p video files in Adobe Premiere. Let's get into it. We're in Adobe Premiere now and I created a project and imported some 4K 60p files that were taken with the new Sony FX30. It's a really awesome camera that I made a video about, which will be linked in the cards above. Check that out after this video, but for now, let's take a look at how these files behave inside of Premiere. Now we're working on a 24p timeline. 24p is what I typically use for my videos here at Alpha Universe, as well as over on my own YouTube channel. But if we're taking those 60p files and we drop them onto this timeline, you'll notice that the video doesn't play back in slow motion. It actually plays back in real time and has a look that is reminiscent of a live news or a sports broadcast. For some situations, this might work just fine, but we're after that epic slow motion that everyone talks about when they're shooting at 60 or even 120 frames per second. There's a few ways that I regularly use to slow down these clips. The easiest way is to modify the files before adding them onto the timeline. You could right click on a file and head over to modify, interpret footage. A dialog box appears and we'll wanna keep everything the same except for this box right here that says assume this frame rate. It's currently set for playback at 60 frames per second, but since we're on a 24p timeline, we'll wanna change this to 23.976, then hit okay. Now you could drag this clip onto your timeline and once you play it back, you'll notice that it's playing back in slow motion. This is one way to do this, but let's say you already added the clip to your timeline and you started editing a video and then you later decide that you wanna slow down that footage and have it play back in slow motion. This is super easy. You could right click on the clip right on the timeline and select speed duration. Since we're working with 60p footage, you'll wanna slow this clip down to 40%. If you happen to have 120p footage, then you'll slow the clip down to 20%. The calculation to get these numbers is to divide 24, which is the frames per second that I'm using for this timeline, by 60, which is the frames per second of the clip. That gives us 0.4, which translates to 40%. Just take the timeline frame rate and divide it by the frame rate of the video clip, and that will tell you what the correct percentage is to slow down your footage so that it plays back in slow motion. I use both methods on occasion when I'm wanting that beautiful slow motion look that Sony cameras provide. And hopefully these tips help you to get started with making some great looking videos. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already as we release new videos here every single week. Now, if you wanna learn more about content creation, vlogging and video in general, then you don't wanna miss the video that you see here on the screen. Check it out and I'll see you there.